Radix sort is one of the fastest sorting algorithms. It can sort not only integers, but other types of data as well. In this video, we'll explore the key strategies Radix sort uses to sort quickly. Let's start with a small example that takes several numbers unsorted, then sort them, increasing from left to right. Notice that all three hundreds are together on the left, the five hundreds are together, and the eight hundreds are together. The three hundreds are to the left of the five hundreds, which are to the left of the eight hundreds. Within the three hundreds, the thirties are together, and the seventies are together. The thirties are to the left of the seventies. Within the thirties, threes are to the left of the nines. Radix sort uses this pattern at the core of its strategy. Radix sort looks at individual digits of numbers. It can start with digits on the left side of each number and work from left to right one digit at a time. In our example, Radix sort started by looking at the hundreds digit of each number, then proceeded to the tens and then to the ones digit. Let's follow the steps Radix sort algorithm takes to order a set of numbers from the smallest on the left to the largest on the right. We use the same nine numbers as a quick example, but the algorithm works in the same way for millions or billions or trillions of numbers. Radix sort examines each number, looks at its leftmost digit, and groups together all numbers which have the same digit. In our example, all three hundreds are grouped together since they have the same leftmost digit, a three. All five hundreds are grouped together since they have the same leftmost digit, a five. The same for the eight hundreds. Notice that Radix sort put the groups of three hundreds on the left, then the group of five hundreds, and then the group of eight hundreds. After this first pass, based on the leftmost digit of each number, all the numbers are grouped by hundreds from the left to the right in an in increasing order. However, within each group, the numbers are not yet sorted. The first pass is now done. In the second pass, Radix sort works on each group of hundreds separately, using the next digit from the left, the tens digit. Within the group of 300s, 30s are grouped together, followed by 70s. Within the 500s, 10s are grouped together, followed by 90s. Within 800s, there's only a single group of 60s, and nothing needs to be done. The second pass is now done, which used the second digit from the left to order numbers within each individual hundreds group. In the third pass, Radix sort works on each group of tens separately, using the next digit, the ones digit. Within the group of 330s, threes are grouped to the left of the group of nines. Within the 370s, there's only one element and nothing to do. Within the group of five tens, there's only one element and once again, nothing to do. Within the 590s, the group of zeros is placed to the left of the group of sixes. Within the 860s, the group of threes is placed to the left of the group of sevens. The third pass is now done. This is the last pass because there are no more digits to sort by. Radix sort is done. All numbers have been sorted in increasing order from left to right. Radix sort used three passes because each of the numbers had three digits. If numbers had more digits, Radix sort would use as many passes as there are digits. This video introduced the core concepts used by Radix sort starting from the most significant digit on the left. A deeper dive into the details of Radix sort is in a separate video tutorial. Radix sort can also start from the least significant digit on the right.